What's up guys, Marlon back here with another video and this time we're going to be talking about the Game Awards 2019 nominees are in and wow, a lot of people are very upset with the nomination of all these games or whatnot. People are upset with Pokemon, people are upset with Death Stranding, people are just upset period. It's like the season to be upset with a lot of games and a lot of different things going on. So the Game Awards will be going down on December 12th. I will be streaming it so make sure you guys uh come through and actually support your boy it's definitely definitely going down all right so let's go through the nominations here for game of the year and right off the bat we have control now control is a very good game but i just don't see this game being game of the year material um, there are some technicalities with it that I don't particularly like, but I mean, game of the year, uh, I don't know. I don't really know about that. Um, next on the list here, guys, we have Death Stranding. Now, this game has been dragged through the mud. There's a lot of things that's going on with Death Stranding as far as the media is concerned, but I played the game. I really enjoyed it, but hey, it's on the list for game of the year. RE2, of course, that is a remake of a classic um, game and whatnot and so I'm really excited that it's actually up there Sekiro Shadow um, Die Twice most definitely that's a very very good game hard game but very very good all-around game Super Smash Bros Ultimate of course man Smash did not get nominated last year because the Game Awards um, happened before the game was released so of course there's no surprise there and I think Smash deserves game of the year not because it's Smash and I love it but it's just a all-around amazing game I mean all the characters that you can ever want unifying all the Nintendo characters all you know the other third-party characters bringing that major crossover together I mean of course it's not perfect no game is perfect but I do believe that Smash Ultimate deserves game of the year next here we have the Outer Worlds now Outer Worlds is a very good game made by obsidian and i think that's a very small team there if i'm not mistaken so no surprise that that actually makes it people love that fallout type of post-apocalypse experience but where is astral chain i do disagree with this game of the year nominee uh just because astral chain is not up there and i think astral chain deserves game of the year in my opinion as well to be nominated for game of the year now action game as you can see down here they have apex legends astral chain is down here here, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which I'm surprised they're not putting that up for Game of the Year, Devil May Cry 5, Gears 5, and Metro Exodus. Eh, well, I can kind of I, I can kind of agree with this for um action game uh, nominees or whatnot. Um, next on the list, I do believe though that Astral Chain should win this action game. I would say better than Call of Duty, better than Devil May Cry 5, Gears 5, and Metro Exodus. I think this should be an easy win for, you know, Astral Chain. Next on the list, we have um, Action Adventure Game. And so they have Borderlands 3, Control, Death Stranding, um, Resident Evil 2 Remake, Sekiro, um the legend of zelda Link's awakening so for me action adventure i would say man i would say re2 i would say re2 i would say um zelda as well those two remakes or could definitely win that genre there. Um, also, Death Stranding as well. So I think three out of that um, six games that are nominated here. Art Direction. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. We got Control. Control had some very brilliant art directions. Death Stranding. Um, Gris, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, Sayonara. Wild Hearts. That game. Oh, my God. Beautiful game. Beautiful game if you guys haven't tried that yet. Um, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, of course. And Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. So art direction for me, I would have to go with Sayonara uh, Wild Hearts. That game looks phenomenal. Uh, I'm sorry, that game looks phenomenal. If y'all play that game, oh my god. But who knows, they might give it to Link's Awakening. That beautiful art on that. Beautiful um, art on 
Um, which are the game? Hmm, I would say Death Stranding art is beautiful, but I think it's probably going to be between Sayonara or Link's Awakening in, in my book. All right, so audio design. Hmm, they got Call of Duty, Control, Death Stranding, Gears 5, Resident Evil 2. Audio, I think RE2 has some of the best audio, in my opinion. Um, let me see here. Gears 5 has very good audio direction as well and let's see here i don't know i mean it could go either way guys it could definitely go either way so we're gonna have to wait and see on that that's one a, a little bit tough for me but i might have to go with re2 on this one again because the the, the, the audio in that one was just amazing and death Stranding has some very amazing music and soundtracks and whatnot as well all right so let's keep it moving here we got community support um apex legend destiny 2 final fantasy um we have fortnite and tom clancy's um rainbow six siege hmm i don't know guys um community support i would have to go with man community support Recognizing the game for outstanding community support. I'll say it's between Destiny 2 and Apex Legends. I mean, it could go it could go either way, guys. Honestly, uh, Fortnite as well. Fortnite could be could get it as well. Also, content creator of the year. Okay. Oh wow, I don't know none of these guys. So let's skip that. Um, esports coach. Um, esports event esports game of the year um yeah i don't i would i don't know esports game of the year might i don't know they might give it to overwatch um esports hosts okay all of this other stuff that i don't oh family game now we're cooking with gas so um we have um luigi mansion 3 ring fit adventure super mario maker 2 and super smash bros ultimate yoshi crafted world Okay, so family um, game, mm, family game, family. It's between Smash and Super Mario Maker. A family game, I would say between Smash and Super Mario Maker. Yoshi's Crafted World is dope. Ring Fit is a good family game as well because it's about fitness. So I would say, anyway, I would say between Smash and Super Mario Maker too. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Now, fighting game. Oh my god, Dead or Alive 6, Jump Force, Mortal Kombat 11. This is a very competitive uh, pick here. So I might have to go with, I would say, Smash. It's arguably Smash, hands down, as far as fighting game. I mean, it's the best selling fighting game. It's the best all around fighting game, bringing all these characters from all walks of life in the game, in a Nintendo universe. I would say Smash. Um, fresh indie game. Mmm. Is Sayonara in here? Out of Wilds? Okay. This one is pretty... Oh, Goose Game. The entitled Goose Game for sure on that one. Um, game Direction. Maybe... I would say Death Stranding is going to get that one. Death Stranding is probably going to get that one hands down. Even though a lot of people are going to give me flack for that. But it's okay. And then Games for Impact. We got Concrete Genie. Uh, Life is Strange. Okay. Uh, kind Worlds. Grits again. Sea of Solitude. Um, I don't know about that one. I really don't know about that one. Uh, mobile game. Okay. Multiplayer game. I'm surprised Smash is not in here. But I mean, it might. They might give it to Modern Warfare. They might definitely give it to Modern Warfare on that one. Uh, narrative. I'll say Death Stranding. Death Stranding might win that one hands down because that game has very good narrative there. Ongoing game. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'll say probably Destiny 2 on that one. Performance. They might give it to Norman Reedus. Yeah, they might, they might give it to Norman Reedus. I think Norman Reedus outshines a lot of people. Control is good with um, Jesse. Courtney Hope did a great job on that role-playing game. I would say for me, I don't know, guys. Kingdom Hearts 3? Kingdom Hearts 3, hands down. Score and music, Death Strand in 2. Say Sayonara Wild, yup. That game music is amazing. Sports game, eh. Don't really care. I guess Crash will probably win that one. Strategy game, eh. Skip that one. 
Um, VR, AR game, okay, none of that stuff I really care about. So, guys, let me know what you guys think about the Game of the Year nomination and everything like that because, honestly... I would say hands down they should have add they should have added um, Astral Chain in there. They should have added Astral Chain. I think Astral Chain deserved to be game of the year. It was a very very good game. Of course they put it down in the action game um, segment, but it could definitely win action game of the year as well. So leave your thoughts down in the comment section. I can see why a lot of people are upset because there are a lot of games I thought that should be in here that's not in here. So peace. Switch gang, leave your thoughts down below. We're out of here.